Hello Cancers, so this is your readings. So this reading will be for the rest of this month. I'm gonna be using the spread I usually do for the weekly. Um, and then also I'm gonna be doing a single spread as well. I'm gonna be asking who's coming towards you guys and I'm gonna do career finances and all signs too. So let's start and see what's going on. Okay, so universe, what's going to be the current energy between Cancers and the person that would be on Cancer Mind for the rest of this month? Okay, so there's the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, and Death card. So you guys are ready for a new beginning. Okay, so this reading part resonates mostly for singles. Some of you guys are going to be in a new relationship very soon once you end something else with someone else. Okay, universe, the person that would be on Cancer Mind, what would this person like to say to Cancer? Oh, okay. So someone is not trying to let you go, but you on to the next. <laughs> okay, you have someone else lined up. Universe, the person I'll be on Cancer Mind, what is this person's intentions? Well, it's supposed to be intentions. It's supposed to be what they keep ahead in. So they're not over you, but their intentions um, is the world. So I feel like it's to whoever this person is trying to block you from this new beginning. Universe, the person that will be on Cancer Mind, what is this person keeping hidden from Cancer? Queen of Cups, yeah, they still stuck on you. Okay, this is your energy. All they do is think about you. Universe person will be on Cancer Mind. How will this person feel about Cancer for the rest of this month? Hermit in reverse, they want to talk to you. Universe person will be on Cancer Mind. What is this person's true feelings for Cancer? The Sun, yeah, you make them happy. This person could be codependent. Universe person will be on Cancer Mind. What action will this person take with Cancer? Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. They're trying to see if they can interrupt your happiness they see that you have moved on while wow, they stuck on you <laughs> okay but i feel like a lot of you guys have manifesting manifest is something great someone that you can spend the rest of your life with someone you see a future with okay so that's a good energy let me clarify some more universe clarify the nine of cups and the ten of cups justice that yeah, i feel like you met you you found your counterpart you found your match yep Beautiful, that's good. The new person could be Earth sign. Universe clarify the, um, or Pisces. Universe clarify the Scorpio. Universe clarify the Death card and the Wolf Fortune. Universe clarify the Death card and the Wolf Fortune. Universe clarify Scorpio. Universe clarify the Death card and the Wolf Fortune. Eight Swords, yeah, you got a new beginning. Look at that. <laughs> you cut something out, you cut someone out, you have a new beginning. So that looks good. I like this reading for you guys. Um, Let's look at the other spreads. Let's see what's going on. I so please just get my nails to look crazy. <laughs> okay. Let's look here. Okay, so you know, give me a big heart spread. I'm not suggesting you have for cancers for the rest of this month. A lot of you guys want to be traveling, a lot of vacations together. That's what I'm seeing. Meeting each other, family. So you guys want to get a dog together. Universe, me at three cards, five messages you have for cancers for the rest of this month. Okay. So first position, there's key and heart. Oh, that's so cute. So love, deep affection, and caring, key. Successful outcome to your problems. Look at that. So I feel like you guys really are manifesting your match or you already have manifested this person, okay? Um, then there's teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Probably you guys started off as friends, but you guys are great friends as well. Period. Someone will gossip about all your secrets. I feel like this is an ex. The ex is spying on you and your person. Um, crib, birth, the conception of the child, enterprise, you may get pregnant by this person, dog far away, a distant friend is thinking of you, okay? This ex was, is going to try to do something to make you get jealous, but it's not going to work. Bridge, successfully overcoming a problem, and not an uh, unsuccessful plan, yeah. So they're going to try to see if they can make you jealous, but it's not going to work because a lot of you guys are over them, okay? So let's look 
the singles even though the reading is kind of like a single reading let's see who's coming towards you guys So, universe, give me a big heart spread. What's coming towards single cancers when it comes to their love life for the rest of this month? Okay. So, there's harmony and reverse, balance, conflict, defeat, cross chakra, and trap and fear. So, this is the opposite message. Interesting. So for the tarot, I feel like these are for the people that's currently involved or you really have moved on from the past, okay? Now with the singles, it's more picking up on cancers who have resentment, um, who haven't completely forgiven and letting go of somebody, okay? So the universe is wanting you to do that so you can welcome that greatness, okay? Like how the other cancers, the other group of cancers are experiencing, okay? So, oops, let me just fix this more. Um, let's see what's going on. Okay, universe, give me a big card spread. What's coming towards single cancers when it comes to their love life for the rest of this month? Bless the devil. Chaos, wow. Individuality, don't lose yourself. That's what I'm getting here. Don't lose yourself. Um, if there's someone who didn't treat you right, don't treat yourself not right, okay? Don't do things risky. Don't feel like you need to, you know, thought around, <laughs> okay? Don't do that. I feel like right now, what I'm say is really focusing on self-care and self-love. I know it sounds very cliche, but yeah, really prioritizing that and forgiving and healing and taking the lesson and flipping it to a blessing, Okay. Don't self-destruct. That's what I'm getting here. Don't self-destruct or self-sabotage, okay? So, yeah, just because someone didn't see your value, don't, don't, don't allow those people to project onto you, basically, where you are questioning your own self and you saying, F it, don't. That's what I'm getting here. Also, some of you guys don't need to go back to someone from your past who's toxic as well, too. That's the message I'm getting here. Okay. So. Let's look. At career and finances. Let's see what's going on. Hey universe. Give me a big heart button. What's going to happen with cancer, career, and finances for the rest of this month? Universe, give me one more card. Okay, so there is pathway, poverty, courtship, and family room. Some of you guys have been looking for a job. I do see you finding a job, okay? The message I'm getting here is like to get desperate as well, okay? The right opportunity is going to happen. But if you accept anything, you might miss out on the right opportunity, okay? So that's... So just trying to say apply yourself, put your on to something, and you will get the best one. But if you're just applying, let's say if you're applying to a job, any job, and you're in that state of just, um, desperation, you're going to get that job. You're going to get a job, but it's not going to be the best. But let's just say you are applying to jobs that actually match your expertise. You can see you working there for a long term, okay, and you giving it all that you got, like, you researching, you're, you're practicing your questions, you're going to get it. That's what I'm getting here. So let's look. All right, universe, give me a big card spread. Universe, this might happen with Cancer's career and finances for the rest of this month. Just be alone, finance, little craft. Six of Wands. Yeah, I'm just trying to say like mastery. And you will be victorious and staying committed. Yeah. So I feel like with career, once you master whatever you need to master, you're going to be victorious. You're going to get it. Okay. Now, when it comes to finances, you may feel like for the rest of this month, it's not the best month when it comes to your finances. But trying to say like you can overcome any financial setbacks or any financial disappointments. Okay. So... Let's look at the general messages. Oops. And then we'll go to all signs. Okay, 
So universe, what's, what message do you have for cancers for the rest of this month? Between worlds, I see that with the Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing positively for you. And blessed, look at that, beautiful. So things are changing positively. So even if you was in a group of group two cancers where someone do you wrong, just know that it's going to be brighter days, okay? But don't self-destruct, don't self-sabotage, don't let people project onto you, okay? So let's look at the all signs. Some of you guys are going to be traveling to Singapore, probably for work. Okay, so let's start with Aries. The universe is going to happen with Cancer and Aries. So this one, I want to come out horizontally, but more facing reverse, like toward man and family room. Mirror effect, Pisces, and Scorpio. Taurus, a lot of cards. Wheel of Fortune, the Star, and High Priestess. Okay, so yeah, this Aries might try to see if they can make you jealous, okay? This could be someone you have a family with. If you do have a family with them, just be that bigger person, okay? Still have like a somewhat decent um, co-parent relationship. Um, but don't get too caught up with their immaturity, basically, okay? But if you don't have kids with them, I just see them trying to make you jealous, because they see that you have moved on, okay? So, but it's not gonna work, <laughs> okay? I guess they're trying to make themselves feel good. That's what I'm getting. Because they see you move on, they say, okay, let me try to move on, but I'm really trying to see if cancer's gonna get jealous. All right, let's look at Taurus. Okay, so universe is going to happen with cancer and Taurus. Message of concern, official person, and concern. Ace of Cups in reverse. What's going on here? The Shadows you too. Okay, this could be their ex. They might have an ex that's jealous of what you guys have. And this person is going to be talking ish about your person. They're going to be saying, oh, you haven't seen the true side of this person. Okay. Now, some of it might be true of whatever they're saying. But some of it is just so you can, like, drop this per your person. Okay, so what I'm getting here is like a Taurus, their ex is going to be coming at you, okay? Let's look at um, Gemini. All right, universe is going to happen with Cancer and Gemini. Unexpected income. Then there is Coffin, okay? So I feel like the universe is definitely rewarding you. If you went through hell and back with this person, there's the Capricorn of the Devil Energy. Single, if you went through hell and back, okay, when it comes to this person, the universe is definitely going to warn you because I feel like you guys was really trying to love this person wholeheartedly and purely, okay? But just like the saying, you know, what comes around goes around, but I feel like since she was giving good energy, good energy is going to come follow you around, okay? Um, and it's going to be through another person. So I feel like we're trying to say, like, let this situation go if it's resonating because there's better. There's going to be way much better. Your money's going to get much better too. So let's look at Cancer. Okay, Universe, what's going to happen with Cancer and Cancer? Universe is going to happen with Cancer and Cancer. Family room, gift, and high honor. Okay, some of you guys are currently dealing with a Cancer or will be. It looks good. This could be someone that it's someone you're going to have a family with. There is the magician in each direction. So yeah, I do see like a new cancer coming your way. So if you, was, you click on this card regarding the X, just, be, just know that there is a new energy. New energy is coming. Okay. Let's look at... Um, let's look at Leo. Okay. So, universe, what's going to happen with Cancer and Leo House? And then there's community. All right, universe, what's going to happen with Cancer and Leo 
High Priestess and Justice. Okay, and this could be someone from the past. They're trying to make it up to you. That's what I'm getting as well. But with if it's a newer person, I feel like this is someone who feel like you are the one for them. They feel that in their spirit and their soul. And I do see them probably even proposing, okay, buying homes together. That's what I'm seeing here. Let's look at Virgo. Universe is going to happen with Cancer and Virgo. So, privileged lady and thief. <laughs> okay. So, I feel like this Virgo always have their eyes on you, even when you guys was taken. So, they're going to be shooting their shot. They're going to be shooting their shot. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. Um, is this your NLB all? I'm not really getting it, but I do see them shooting their shot to you. Because they feel like now is the perfect time. Let's look at Libra. Universe is going to happen with Cancer and Libra. Distant Horizons. And Mature Man. Okay, I'm getting Brazil. Some of you guys are traveling to Brazil. Probably they're Brazilian, probably you're Brazilian. Okay. What's going to happen with Cancer and Libra? So there is the Emperor. This card will show up to Sagittarius and Fire. Ooh, so there's a there's gonna be a lot of romance, a lot of passion. So even though this is a Libra year, this person's gonna have a lot of fire for you. Okay. So I feel like you haven't met this person yet, which is interesting because you click on Libra. Um so if you're currently dealing with a Libra, this person could just be from a different background than you. If your ex is a Libra, it's trying to say that um you haven't met the, the this this person energy. It's not necessarily Libra. It doesn't necessarily need to be that. But you haven't met this person yet. So let's look at Scorpio. <laughs> so you know what's going to happen with Libra and I said Libra. What's going to happen with Cancer and Scorpio? Main female and change. Okay, why are they leaving a Libra? Yeah, so they're leaving someone to be with you. Because they feel like you are the one with the sun. Don't spend too much time in constipation, force your favorite action. I feel like that was them in the past. So now they know what they want. They're leaving whoever they was with to be with you. Let's look at um, Sagittarius. Okay, universe is going to happen with... Um, universe is going to happen with... Cancer and Sagittarius. Main female, privileged lady. Okay. You feel good. I'm getting Florida. So some of you guys are from Florida. They might be from Florida. I'm getting West Palm Beach for some reason. All right, universe, what's going to happen with um, Cancer and Sagittarius? Okay. So there is High Priestess, the Emperor, and the Star. Yeah, so this is someone who, yeah, this is someone, I was getting Sagittarius energy for a little while, for different signs, <laughs> when I was, like, picking up on their energy. They're making a lot of money. Money's going to be coming to them very soon. And what I'm seeing here, you're going to be connecting with a shot caller, basically. I'm, I'm seeing that you're going to be connecting with someone who's that person, <laughs> okay? Um, and this is someone who's going to be extremely generous, okay, with their time, and money. <laughs> okay, so that's what it's looking. It's looking good there. Let's look at um let's look at Capricorn. Uh, universe, what's going to happen with uh Leo? So probably the Capricorn left a Leo, that's what I'm getting. Universe, what's going to happen with um Cancer and Capricorn? Okay, so there is um Expectation, main female, and reverse, and community. Okay, this Capricorn might be for the community. So I feel like this person's gonna try to reprioritize you after prioritizing someone else. The universe is going to happen with Cancer and Capricorn. Repentance, yeah, they're gonna try to come correct you. They shout you too. They're, this they're, this person is most likely a karmic, and they're resurfacing with a Scorpio rebirth, basically. Okay. Let's look at, um, let's look at Aquarius. Universe, what's going to happen with the Cancer and Aquarius? 
expectation and thief. You expecting this person to be no good. Okay, so the song I'm getting is Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse, you know that I'm no good. Okay. So probably this person was done with the Virgo. Let's see. Universe is going to happen. Universe is going to happen with Cancer and Aquarius. Okay, so there is Hill and Fire. Yeah, so this person trying to have makeup sex with you, makeup and in in intimacy basically. Yeah, they're trying to still have this soul tie with you. So if you try to move on, move on. Don't <laughs> don't be intimate with this person because this is someone who's trying to keep you stuck. Let's look at a um, Pisces. Okay, universe is going to happen with Cancer and Pisces. So there's change and courtship. So you guys will be meeting with a new Pisces. You always have a choice and trust your, I mean, clear your, clear vision, you're right. Universe, universe clarify, clear vision, you're right. Fire. Okay, so some of you guys are gonna be entertaining a Pisces. Right now, you're not really having high expectations. You're just going with the flow, but I don't feel like nothing bad is gonna happen, okay? That's what I'm saying. If you click on this part because it's an ex Pisces, um, probably you are entertaining people, entertaining one person particularly. And you like their vibes, but you're not like getting too far ahead, okay? So that's the reading that I have for you, Cancers. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing.